Now for linear regression. This is where we want to fit a straight line between some data points. I didn't want that one. Anyway, so we want to fit some sort of a line between all of those points. So let's enter our first point. Again, we're going to enter in the y value first and then the x value. So the y value is 2 and 0. Two zero. And let's enter those into our sum, one item. This is y value of one, x value of one. So I've got one one. Enter. Y value of zero, x value of two. Y value of two, x value of three. Y value of one, x value of four. y value of 2, x of 5, and y value of 3, x of 6. And we do have seven items in there. So of course I could look at the mean, the mean of the y values, 1.57. But I'm going to go to linear regression here. Gold shift. So this gives me, let me explain that in a bit. So this is the R fit. So it doesn't do a great job of fitting those points. They're not exactly linear. This is our slope. So M is equal to 0 0.214. And B is 0 0.929. So that actually fits into my, my equation, y equals mx plus b. So the equation for this line is going to be 0.214x plus 0.929. Now what these first two do is they give me a way of evaluating this equation without actually putting the equation into the calculator or doing the calculation. So if I enter a number in here, let's say 5, and then go to my linear regression, it tells me that given an x value of 5, my y value should be 2. And given an x value of, say, 1, my y value is going to be 1.14. Let's see if it does evaluate to that. So 1.14 uh, is what we're looking for. So let's, let's see, I'll just take that value. So one times that, and then I'm going to add 0.929, I'll just grab it from the B value here. And it gives me 1.143, as expected. So that's just a way of evaluating that equation. You can also do it for X's. So given a Y value of four, which would be way out here somewhere in our our line. So I'm going to put in 4 and go back to linear regression. It tells me that my x value is going to be 14. So my line doesn't reach up to 4 until we go out to 14.33 in x. So that's a good but simple way of finding a line that fits some data points and then evaluating that.